Queensland Labor is celebrating the first anniversary of an election that would deliver them a surprise victory. One year ago tomorrow, the Campbell Newman-led LNP suffered a staggering loss as voters turned to Anastasia Palaszczuk instead. Now Bill Shorten is hoping to emulate her success at this year's federal poll. In front of the Labor Party faithful, the Premier reflected on an historic night one year ago. Twelve months ago today, we did it. We had to climb Mount Everest against all odds. On the night, the final numbers were still unclear, but voters had shown Campbell Newman the door. And Labor went from a tiny opposition of nine members to being in a position to form minority government. A fortnight later, it did. They said we couldn't do it. They said the task was too great. But together, we did it. But it hasn't been all smooth sailing. Controversial backbencher Billy Gordon exited the party and a mistake-prone police minister quit. The government's been accused of inaction and indecision. But today, the Premier was upbeat. Over the last 12 months, more than 60,000 jobs have been created right here in Queensland. Thousands of jobs have also been lost in a struggling resources sector, presenting an ongoing challenge. We know that there's a downturn in commodity prices and regional Queensland is doing it tough. A review into the LNP's bikey laws, also an outstanding matter for 2016. The citizens of Queensland want them kept. The people of the Gold Coast certainly want them kept. We've got senior police saying they want them kept. It's only Labor who want to get rid of them. Federal Labor's very keen to get rid of Malcolm Turnbull, but that will be an uphill battle too. We are the underdogs. Let's own it. Let's enjoy it. Labor goes into a federal election year with just six of the 30 Queensland seats.